Hey everyone, I have a luggage story. It's a flying story. It's a firearm story. It's a brief story though, as you can see. On the way here, I'm in Vegas. I'm, I'm at uh, Red Team Alliance. We just wrapped up a couple weeks of amazing classes. If you don't know, DEF CON, you know, Black Hat and DEF CON coming up. We are gonna be out here. We are, we are literally in Vegas. Not only are we just seeing friends and having people come through and hosting a bunch of stuff. After DEF CON, if you're interested, our access control class, our physical access control class, all about RFID, WeGAND, you name it, intercepting credentials, replaying credentials, hacking credentials, that's well known, right? You've seen this course. That's something we've been running many times in the past. We're really kind of the best game in town about prox marks and RFID and credentials. What you probably have not seen, because it's the first time we're doing it, is we've added a third day to a normally two-day class. Flipper Zero. Have you had a Flipper Zero that you wanted to buy? Maybe you got one, haven't used it quite to its extent. I am thrilled at all the work that Bobic and the team and, and Nick and Kevin have all put in on doing fun, interesting stuff with the Flipper. And if you're interested, reach out to us. I'll, I'll link down below. If you already have plenty of access control knowledge, you've done our credential class, you've done Proxmark things, don't take those days. We're gonna run the Flipper day as a standalone day if you want. If you have no idea what I'm talking about with RFID and other credentials and things and badges and HID and PROX and CIOS and I-Class, take all three days, who knows? Special price, post DEF CON class. Uh, again, this is not a commercial. I mean, it kind of is, I guess, when I talk about that. But Red Team Alliance, I'm always proud to be a part of and I'll mention them. I won't mention the other Red Team thing that's a store, but you know, I never mention that on the channel. What I will mention though, is flying with firearms. This is my story of checking in for this flight. So, uh, you know, I have all kind of Pelican cases. You've seen me talk about them, including the little new lockable latches, which I was trying out. And as I started to check in, you know, the person, I had a bunch of cases, different ones with different things. And the one case here, we, this is how I had. I have my, some of my work gear and a little pistol bag. And the person checking me in says, okay, well, where's, where's the firearm? And I, I said, it's in here. She said, well, I need to see it. I was like, Again, no, that's not proper. You're not supposed to see it. I'm looking around, is this gonna disturb anybody? I'm like, there's a pistol right here. Okay, let's, let's it's, it's unloaded. Okay, thank you very much. And she says, okay, okay, yeah, but um, that bag, that's a soft-sided bag. It needs to be in a hard case. And I said, it, it is in a hard case. This, this is a hard case. And she said, no, but it's, but it's in a soft bag. It's not a hard case. And this was, poised to go back and forth for I don't know how many minutes that I didn't have. And I said, okay, do you mind? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach into the bag again. I don't like touching my guns in front of strangers and like pulling them out, but do you okay with that? She said, yeah. And I said, it's in a hard case. What, what are we doing here? Now, ultimately, as you will see, they Rep actually did check the Delta website and all the notes and everything. Okay, I saw him here. It says, Note, only handguns may be packed in a lock sided, lock hard sided gun case and then packed inside an unlocked soft sided piece of luggage. So it was okay. Oh, thank you. You, you never know. Your mileage may vary, but I wanted to share this story with you in case you're going to wind up traveling with your pistol like this uh, on Delta or other airlines. Let me know how it goes for you. Uh, it obviously worked out well for me, but uh, yeah, I didn't expect to ever have that discussion before. But now you got a trick up your sleeve. If somebody says it's not in a hard case, you know, drop that shit in the bottom of the pelican and tell them, are you satisfied now? Are you not entertained? I hope y'all are entertained. This was, this was a silly one for me, but I love, uh, you know, I like that a lot of the response I'm getting on this traveling with firearms content. It's not my usual, I mean, it's kind of become my usual shtick over the years, but I, I've got a few more things I'll tell you about uh, oddities here and there when I'm flying. Hopefully flying home from here will be normal. If it's not, catch me <laughs> tweeting about it or blue skying about it, then I'll throw images on Insta and then I'll put a video out here for everyone else on YouTube. Okay, have fun, travel safe, travel well, wherever you go. Yeah, stay safe out there. Lock. That's the last lock back right there. You good? Thank you.